Welcome to this 20-minute Vinyasa Yoga Moria Flow. This is an energizing morning sequence to help you radiate love, joy, and inner courage. When you're ready, we'll get started today in child's pose. Joining the big toes together, widening your knees towards the edge of the mat as you begin to sink your hips towards the heels. Reaching the arms out in front, melting your forehead down onto the mat. Offering yourself a moment to get comfortable. Notice what is unfolding for you in this very moment. You might like to take a moment to thank yourself for showing up today. Recognizing that the hardest part is already done. You rolled out the mat, and now you have the opportunity to have fun, be spontaneous and playful with your practice. Lovingly guiding your awareness towards the breath, noticing the duration of each inhalation and of each exhalation. Guiding the breath to any regions of the body where you're feeling sensation. On your next inhalation, pressing into the palms and rising up onto all fours, coming into a tabletop position, Bhamanasana. Aligning the knees with the hips and the wrists with the shoulders, we'll begin to take a few rounds of cat and cow, waking up the spinal column. With every inhalation, scooping the chest forwards, arching the back, gazing up. And with every exhalation, pressing into the palms, curling and rounding the spine, guiding the chin towards the chest. Allowing your movements to be graceful and playful. You might like to continue with this traditional cat and cow, or if you'd like to be a little bit more playful, perhaps circling the hips towards the knees and the shoulders over the wrists. Really mobilizing the outer glutes and the outer hips here. Finding any organic movement here that feels right for you.
beginning to slow down the movement and we'll return to our tabletop position. From here, tenting up onto the fingertips and guiding your right foot between the palms. Inhale, raise the arms skywards. Use the strength of your lower body. Keep the right leg as it is, pivot to the left, guiding your left shin behind you on a diagonal, separating the arms out wide at shoulder height. Aligning your right knee with the right ankle, drawing energy upwards, gazing towards your right fingertips, and being mindful to keep your lower abdominals engaged. From here, right palm on the inner seam of your right foot, raise the left arm skywards on a diagonal. This is a baby extended side angle. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, baby sun warrior. Left palm on the earth, raise your right arm overhead, stretch the torso. Inhale, warrior two. Let's go again. Exhale, extended side angle. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, baby sun warrior, stretching the side body. Once more, finding your fluidity. Really doing your best to open your right knee out to the side, strengthening the glutes and the inner thighs. From here, mindfully elevating the torso, straightening your front leg, lowering your left palm down onto the earth, raise the right arm skywards, gate pose, stretch the body. Scoop the chest forwards and around and return to tabletop position. Let's prepare for this sequence on the other side. Tenting up onto the fingertips, left foot between the palms, inhale, raise the arms, baby warrior one. Keep the left leg as it is, exhale, pivot to the right, extend the arms at shoulder height, gaze towards your left palms, baby warrior two. Return your left palm to the earth, raise your right arm, extended side angle. Transition through warrior two. Exhale, baby sun warrior, right palm on your calf or on the earth as you raise your left arm. Transitioning through warrior two and lowering into extended side angle, flowing through these transitions. Using the strength of your outer glutes to keep your left knee aligned with your ankle. If you notice any sensitivity in your supporting knee of your right leg, know that you could always double up your mat or place a small towel underneath your knee. And this is our final round. Beautiful work, raise the torso, straighten the left leg, right palm on the earth, raise the left arm overhead, stretch the side body, and scooping forwards and around as we come into tabletop position. From here, big toes together, child's pose, balasana. Inhale, press into the palms, tabletop, tuck the toes under and raise the pelvis, downward facing dog, Adho Mukha Svanasana. Grounding down through the left foot, inhale, raise the right leg skywards, three-legged dog. Shift your weight forwards as you guide your right knee towards the chest, right foot on the earth. Inhale, rise up into warrior one. Pivot the back foot out on a diagonal. Know that you can always start off with your palms on your hips to help you find that pelvic alignment. We want to guide our right hip back as we push our left hip forwards. Channeling energy upwards. And from here, pivoting to the left, warrior two. Aligning your hips with your shoulders, arms are extended at shoulder height. Doing your best to create a 90 degree angle with your right knee and the earth. Sinking those hips down. 
From here, right palm on your forearm, raise the left arm, extended side angle, creating a diagonal line between your left palm, your hip, and your foot. Transition through warrior two. Exhale, sun warrior. Glide your left arm down your left leg as you raise the right arm on a diagonal. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, lower to extended side angle. If you'd like a challenge, keeping both arms elevated. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, sun warrior. Just like this. Well done. On your next inhalation, pivot to frame your front foot. Step the right leg back. Plank pose. Lower the knees. Exhale, Ashtanga Namaskar. Inhale, Cobra, Bhujangasana, gaze up. Tuck the toes under. Exhale, Adho Mukha Svanasana. Reconnect with the breath. Inhale, raise the left leg, three-legged dog. Knee to chest, shift your weight forwards and prepare for warrior one. Pivoting the right foot out on a diagonal, raise the torso, raise the arms, and lower the hips. Soften the facial features. Exhale, pivot to the right, finding your expression of warrior two. Know that you can always adjust the distance between your legs. Finding what modifications work for you. Inhale, find length. Exhale, left forearm to left thigh. Raise the right arm on a diagonal, extended side angle. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, sun warrior. Glide the right arm down the right leg. Stretch the side body. Keep the hips low. Inhale through center, and let's flow through this transition again, knowing that you have the option to raise your left arm in extended side angle to really turn on the core. Let's go for one more round in each direction. Beautiful work, frame the front foot, step the left leg back, plank pose. Option to keep the torso elevated, coming into Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, Urdha Mukha Svanasana, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Reconnecting with the breath. On your next inhalation, breathing in through the nostrils. And exhaling out through the mouth, sign it all out. Beautiful work. Inhale, raise the right leg, three-legged dog, Ekapada Adho Svanasana. From here, bending your right knee, shifting your weight forwards, aligning your shoulders with your wrists, guiding the right foot behind the body, resting on the ball of the foot, opening the chest, raising the right arm, coming into wild thing, Kamutkarasana. Mindfully returning the right palm to the earth, raising the right leg, three-legged dog. Exhale, right knee to left tricep. Extend your right leg out. Ground down through the blade edge of your foot. Raise the left arm, pivot to the left, coming into fallen triangle. Exhale, left palm on the earth. Three-legged dog, inhale. Option to take a three-legged chaturanga. And downward facing dog is where we meet. 
Know that you can always take a rest in child's pose if that's what feels right for you today. And let's go on the other side. Inhale, raise the left leg, three-legged dog. Shift your weight forwards, guide your left foot behind the body. Flip the dog, raise the arm, wild thing, Kamakarasana. Left palm on the earth, inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, left knee to right tricep, pivot the body to the right, raise the right arm. Full and triangle, Prasarita Tarasana. Raise the pelvis, breathe. Right palm on the earth, three like a dog, stretch the hamstrings. Option to take a three legged chaturanga. And we'll meet in downward facing dog, taking your time. Wonderful. Inhale, raise the right leg, three-legged dog. Exhale, right knee to left tricep. Find your fallen triangle, but keep your right leg elevated. Feel the strength of your inner thighs, of your obliques. Well done, three-legged dog. Lower the foot, down dog. And let's go on the other side. Inhale, raise the left leg. Exhale, find your floating fallen triangle. Well done, right palm on the earth, three-legged dog. Exhale, down dog. Roll through two plank pose. Option to lower the knees, take your chaturanga. And we'll meet in downward facing dog. This is our final down dog for today. Stretch out the posterior chain. Remind yourself of just how strong you are. Beautiful. Lower the knees, point the toes. Keeping your hips aligned with your knees, walk the arms out in front. Lower the torso down, aligning your ears with your biceps as we come into puppy pose. If you'd like to take this further into heart melting posture, melting your chest towards the earth, and perhaps resting your chin or your forehead on the mat. Wherever you are in this posture, we want to keep a light engagement of the lower abdomen. This is going to help us support the lumbar and sacral regions of the spine. Finding softness. With the support of your arms, glide the torso forwards, lower the pelvis down, and come into Sphinx Pose, Salamba Bhujangasana. Aligning the shoulders over the elbows, and it might feel nice to circle the head and the neck from shoulder to shoulder, feeling a beautiful release for the upper back. We want to press into the tops of the feet and the pubic bone here to support us. Allow the glutes to soften. Slowing down the movement with the head and the neck. Gently returning your forehead to the earth, palms under the shoulders. And with the support of your hands, send your hips back as we come into child's pose this variation it might feel nice to extend the arms the length of the body palms facing skywards feeling your connection to mother earth recognizing that you are supported you are loved and you are safe allow yourself to surrender
mindfully placing your palms underneath your shoulders and with the support of your arms gently unraveling the spine raising the head up whilst taking your time well done from here let's extend our legs out in front resting on the glutes keeping the right leg straight externally rotate the left hip flex the knee place the left sole of your foot on the inner seam of your right thigh align your torso with your right thigh placing one palm on either side of your leg and maybe begin to hinge the torso forwards Coming into your head to knee pose, Janusir Sasana. Allowing the back to round. Well done. Gently elevating the torso. Let's re extend the left leg and find Shanusir Sasana in the opposite direction. Doing your best to keep both sits bones grounded in this posture. Great work, rising up in your own time. Re-extend the right leg. Now let's come into bound angle or Bhattakanasana. Soles of the feet together, knees play out to the side. Interlace your fingers around your feet, find length with the vertebral column. Exhale, hinge the torso forwards. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, fold, and again, finding some beautiful spinal waves. Perhaps getting a little deeper every time you fold forwards, releasing the outer hips. Option to stick with this dynamic stretch or come into a forward fold, reaching the arms forwards, allowing yourself to surrender. I invite you to close practice here in butterfly pose, resting in this deep hip opener for as long as you would like. And when you feel ready, using the support of your arms to help you elevate the torso, come into a comfortable seated position of your choice. Close the eyes, roll the shoulders back. Inhale, raise the arms skywards, palms together. Exhale, lower the hands to heart center. Thank yourself for showing up today, sending you love and light. May you be well. May you experience true peace and joy.